Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's new daily quest is to cast or is to attack uh, with 30 creatures. So we may or may not finish this today. To be completely honest, I'm not sure how how long we're going to go today. Might just play two or three matches. Yeah, I'm just not. Some days you're just not feeling it, you know? Either way, um, the deck we, we will be using today, I believe we're going to do some dinosaurs. Rats would be better just for the sheer number of tokens we create to get the um, daily done. But I want to do some dinos today. So, oops. nothing has changed since the last time we used this deck. Heavy focus on getting big creatures out and dealing some devastation. <laughs> That's pretty much all it is. Put that out of the way. Let's get into some matches. Alright, let's see what we can do. But, um, like I said earlier, we'll probably stick to maybe two or three matches today and see how far that gets us. Stony Coot. <laughs> Alright, we'll call you Stony, huh? Yeah, we'll keep this. We can do something with this, potentially. Maybe. As long as we draw some uh, lower cost dinos. Because as of right now, we're sitting on four mana, counting Lorekeeper. Though this is all pretty heavily reliant on our opponent picking their hand. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, this isn't the best hand. It is kind of a brick. Because, I mean, there we are. You can use Trumpeting. Carnosaur for its um its mana ability, but then you lose out on a 7-6. That's helpful. Cut down. Either a cut down or a play with fire. Is what I assume they have. they're just going to start roping. Oh, wait. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'd rather keep my attackers. And I've done, yeah, I've done monsters. So, I mean, whatever I blocked with would have died. Would have died anyway, so. Unfortunately, yeah, that took you to four, so I can't. 
can't take you out with that. Raptor's whole thing is in the UT. Come on. Hmm. I wonder if they knew it did that. What did they apply to it? Fungal fortitude? So they'd have to somehow boost up the Thrill Seeker to eight, or for eight more, eight more power to take me out here, so not too worried. Now they need five more. Ah, well played. I forgot it did that. Well, I, for, I more so forgot that you can target, that it's not a, it's just damage, it's not targeted at, um, it's not creature focused. That's what I forgot about that. I forgot that you can use that against, against the opponent. So, well played. Well played. War call, war koala? Sure, sure. This isn't how we would prefer to start, but we have a lot of, um, we have options. We have options. I like Polani's Hatcher, I like that. The Bramble Familiars are good, but I don't remember how many I, if I have four of these in the deck, I might start switching some of them out. But if they are playing... Okay, not what I thought. Wow, they really want us to use that. Okay. No, there's no... There's absolutely no reason to attack there. And Firstborn will act as a good blocker for Gwena. Maybe. Depends on what they do here. That's actually not a, that wouldn't be a bad that would not be a bad card to add add to the deck because whenever you cast a creature spell with power five or greater put a plus one plus one counter that's not bad but that would not be bad at all. more complicated dinosaur deck is what they're running here because that Gishoth Sun A Sun's Avatar it's a very good card and one I haven't run and one I've not put into practice honestly just because it's I don't know I've thought about it pretty heavily I've thought about it like what I could do with that
but I just haven't had enough time. You yeah, know, we've we've lost this match. Our lack of mana, other than creature mana, is disappointing. Oh, for the transformation. Nice. If only I could send out my own Vitali. We'll go with the. Uh, we've, I'm, I'm say we've lost. No matter what I do, I can't block enough of Primal Sickness to um, to do anything because of how it's you know damage it deals to the player. Poison deals that many poison counters. So, yikes. This has not been going as well as I thought it would. But then again, the last couple episodes we've gotten a few decent wins, so it was around about time for us to start losing, wasn't it? <laughs> Either way, um, we're at 11 minutes. We'll see how long this match takes, and depending on where we end up, this may be our last, or we'll do one more. We'll just have to wait and see. I would very much prefer to get a win, but like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. Not a terrible start. Not a terrible start. Oh, That's great. Right. Oh, that's right, you're the haste. Yeah, I forgot about that. Deck with I could have blocked, but we want to deal damage. That's what we're wanting to do here. Uh, wouldn't have mattered, yeah, because we would have if we had blocked, we would have lost first one. It's been a while since I've seen a mechanized warfare. At one point I had a I had a mechanized warfare deck. Oh, come on, man. Jeez. <laughs> Not much we can do here. We don't have the right mana. I've said it before, that's, you know, that is someone who's, who got exactly what they needed with their red, so can't really be overly disappointed with that. But since that match was fairly quick, we'll do one more. We'll do more, one more and probably wrap things up after this one. I'm kind of disappointed in the, I mean, I haven't been overly aggressive with the um, creatures attacking, so we're only at 8 out of 30 at the moment, but for our daily quest. But I guess, I, yeah, if you're not playing aggressive, that's kind of to be expected, isn't it? Two Italis? Jeez. Okay. I could send that out, but I'm not going to. I don't have another. I don't have another dino to keep it from getting a stun counter. So no, it acts as a very nice blocker until you get. Or something. Yeah. 
its first strike is very annoying. So yeah, pulling firstborn was uh, exactly what we needed. I'm so I'm happy with that. Sure, good game. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. And hey, we got our we got our victory. I'm happy with that. And that led to a level up, so that's pretty cool too. Did we get anything interesting from that? Just a card style for Dino Tomat. Wait, what? Dino Tomatin? I mean, I know it's like, what the heck? All right, I have, to, I have to look this up. I have to, I have to pull this card up. One second, just because it's very interesting. Dino Tomatin. Okay. What? Artifact creature, dinosaur gnome, menace, four cost, four three. When it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gains menace until end of turn. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, like term in terms of like mana um, efficiency, cost, uh, cost benefit, whatever. For four mana, you're getting a four three with menace, and then you're giving something else on your field menace. That's not bad. That is not bad. Interesting. Well, that's that card, and we got its card style, so that's pretty cool. But with that out of the way, we are going to wrap things up. Got a little bit, not as far, actually, no, we didn't get as far as I thought we would with our attack 30 creatures, 13 out of 30, so not quite half, but almost there, and I, I can live with that. So yeah, we're going to wrap things up. Um, yeah, I'm kind of floundering here for some reason. Um, if, if you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>